together for our next fighter, Robert Stefan. Of Team Bison, EFCA, making his walk to the cage. Having just seen his teammate just uh, lose a close decision, I'm sure both him and his team are going to be fired to get the result here. So this is a bantamweight bout, mixed martial arts, and this fight is sponsored by AutoWorks. His favourite fighter is Khabib Nurmagomedov, and his goals in martial arts are to be the best. Quite simple as that. It's not a bad goal to try and Put be the best. Put your hands together for his opponent, Mitroy Andre. So next up we have Mitre Andre Victor, AKA The Punisher. He fights out of uh, Blackbeard MMA. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. And uh, he's been training for five months, which is not very long at all. But he wants to prove everyone wrong about something. Well, I guess this is uh, his fight technique. And he, he looks up to Nick Diaz, who's a quite a divisive character anywhere. <laughs> and uh, ultimately, he wants to emulate Nick Diaz by reaching the UFC. So given that he's only been training for five months, he's 16 years old, certainly a possibility. We'll that's, have to see tonight. That's that's quite, quite uh, inspiring to hear. Let's just make sure... We don't get no two middle fingers, gesture <laughs> salutes, um, or and any of uh, or laying back on uh, gesturing, or any of Diaz's uh, out of the cage habit, uh, out of the cage habits. Who seems to be uh, all the guys' uh, favourite fighter? All the young guys, yeah. certainly. Not a bad guy to look up to, though. <laughs> this is a bantamweight MMA bout sponsored by AutoWorks. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of London, Team Bison, EFCA, Robert Stefan! And his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of Slough, Blackbeard MMA, Mitre Andre! <laughs> So a confident young lad. Very animated. Yeah, he's certainly getting a crowd behind him. I like his shorts. Great tie shorts on. Very, look at his eyes, very focused. On the other hand, Stefan, Robert Stefan looks pretty cool. Okay, touch gloves and off they go. Inside leg kick by Whoa. both fighters, <laughs> followed by an exchange of big knees. I'm quite amazed there. Right hip toss, uh, they nearly. Stefan actually got a, uh, got a strike to the groin, but didn't complain at all. <laughs> Listen, the adrenaline's pumping. These guys ain't <laughs> feeling nothing. Tell you what, Robert looks a bigger guy as well, doesn't he? Oh, nice movement there by Stefan. Great transition. Nice grabby roll there. Uh, oh, oh, nice <laughs> trip. He's trying to get the uh, straight foot lock on there. He needs, you, he needs to get a right leg out and over um, Mitroy's hip. Uh, Mitroy's doing the right thing. He's, he's, he's pushing him to getting on top high. Oh, this is great, great leg control by uh, Stefan. I'm very impressed. Uh, nice uh, X, X guard there, yeah. straight to a sweep almost, but Vitroy kept wow. his composure. Uh, he had a triangle for a moment. Look at that. <laughs> That's some it's flexible uh, hips uh, there. Tell you that. He's the second fighter from Team Bison, and I mean, Mar I mean Mario earlier, he showed great skills on the ground as well. Defensive skills. Yeah. But I mean, these uh, the, the jiu-jitsu level of, uh, of these guys, you're right, Zabir. You know, they, they, it's, it's certainly... Uh, on, a, on a decent level. Stefan certainly looks like he's done some sort of uh, grappling before. He had some great control with the legs there. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get that from anyone who's just started out. Nice side control, got his hips down. That's some good base there with his hips. I think uh, Mitroy needs to needs push to away. Him, yeah. push I, I away can't really him. see where his other arm is. I don't know if, it's, if he's holding on to his opponent or if he's pushing away. It looks like no, he's, he's pushing he's away. He's pushing away on his neck, but um, Stefan's trying to keep his weight down. Interesting to see where Stefan moves from here. He can't just keep this position. He either needs to move to mount or start looking for hunting for a submission. Yeah, I mean, he, he's doing the right thing. He's taking his time. This is yeah. what, what you like to see. Because, yeah. you know, Mario is going to be trying to force and use force. And he's just taking that first few seconds to maintain position. 
Yeah. And then work from there. But he's let Mitroy come back into the fight. It, he's hunting for that straight foot lock again. Yep. There Ooh. we go. There's, there's an almost oh, a knee yeah. reap there. <laughs> I'm not sure why how he managed to get free, but nice sweep. sweep. Great sweep by uh, Stefan. Straight into mount. I'm really liking Stefan's grappling game. It's very good. Certainly, he's got flexible hips there. He needs to Stefan fight the hands here. Mitroy forced to carry Stefan at this moment. If I was uh, Mitroy, I'd actually turn in towards Stefan rather than trying to turn away because you don't want to expose your back. Yeah. Correct. Mitroy looks slightly frustrated at this moment in time. Great, great movement there. Okay, well, that was an, uh, definitely an electrifying first round for both fighters. Um, certainly, Robert Stefan uh, has the advantage in terms of the grappling um, and some flexible hits there from Robert Stefan of EFCA. <laughs> and, and like Fuzz just said earlier, I think Mitro looks shocked there. I think he's frustrated, he looks shocked because uh, Robert has showed, you know, some really good skills on the, fl on the ground there, you know, going for the, for the straight ankle lock, you know, reversing, sweeping him, taking mount. Um, you know, I think Mitrio was was frustrated. There. He goes from here. Okay. Straight, so we could tell Mitrio was a bit more hesitant. They're <laughs> running in, rushing in like the yep. first round. Stefan went straight for the clinch, obviously looking to take Mitrio down. Wow. Nice reversal nice there by Andrew. A couple of good knees there by Robert Stefan. But, but uh, Mitrio really needs to. Uh, get out of that engagement and, and get his, some strike game going on. Stefan, I don't think he minds at all if this goes to the ground. He's got amazing dexterity on the hips there. You saw that how he's talking his body and contorting it into all kinds of positions. Yeah, he's uh, definitely looking for the dominant positions against the cage, you know, looking for the hook. Um, now he's looking to drive for Good the single leg. There. Nice by nice by Mitro, keeping his hips away. Heavy on top of uh, Stefan. This is great at... Uh, tiring your opponent but he needs to come he needs to come back up now he can't just stay where he's at he's got to come back round he just spin around maybe take the back he could work for a sort of but I, th I, th I think Mitro is just being a bit more cautious now he's yes. seen his game he's not nice, rushing anything nice movement he's got to get his hooks in there. there's no point in punching your back if you haven't got the hooks in yeah he really had to stay hips heavy there I mean the thing is it's all when you sprawl and you take the back, what you really need to do is have a strong base. You know, your arm needs to be, you know, uh, planted on the inside of your opponent's thigh and you really need to be glued to him. You know, that's where uh, Mitro has failed a couple of times now and uh, uh, Robert Stefan's taken full advantage. So Robert Stefan's very heavy on top of Mitro, trying to tire him out here. Yeah, he, I mean, he looks a bigger he's and heavier guy as well in there at the moment. But he, I mean, he, he's just using his weight very yeah. well, distributing it very well. I think... It looks, it looks like Mitroy wants to stay on his feet. He's just trying to stop Stefan from taking him down. I think Stefan's quite happy to just yeah. trip him. I think he's going to try and trip him onto the floor. I think Mitroy wants to engage on the feet, but uh, Robert is not letting him at all. There we go. Some big hammer fists yeah. thrown there by Mitroy, but it hasn't really had much of an effect. Cause so Stefan's going to try and walk up, uh, climb up his body now. Pull him down and, and, crawl and then work his way, ladder his way up, Mitroy. But Mitro is panting now. He's uh, he's not enjoying being in this position. He's actually very frustrating because there's not much Mitro can do here except grapple back, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Roberts, he's definitely the bigger guy out of the two and, and the stronger. You know, some heavy fi hammer fists, some punches towards the body there, but it's not really going to be doing much damage. No, not at this stage. I mean, he does what he's done well to get himself cage walk up. Um, but obviously... Uh, Robert Stefan's got a dominant position there. You know he's the aggressor. Yeah. I like to see him do a bit more from the cage here now. This is where experience against the cage matters. It doesn't matter how much grappling you've done. Being against the cage is actually an extra dimension that a lot of grapplers are not aware about, right? Okay, he's looking to. Oh, he was, that was a mistake there, boy. Robert, he dropped Drop. straight back and fell into mount, but he's done a good job Don't of re retaining guard again. I mean, typical uh, jiu-jitsu guy there for you. You know, he he, f he fell into a, a bad position, but immediately got out of it. You know, scrambled and got out of it. Yeah, I think um, Stefan uh, he, he made that mistake. But right towards the end of the, of the round, like with a few seconds left, he actually got his guard back, which I'm impressed with. Well, three. I'd like to see if, uh, if Stefan's going to grapple more. 
I'd like to see him hunt for submissions this time. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Mitro is throwing some sloppy kicks in. Uh, we he's know he's tired. He's but too upright. This is not the right. You don't no, want to be upright against a grappler. You want to move around here yeah. and make it hard for Robert to get your hands on, on you. Uh, there's no... Mitro has got to really put on... If he's going to strike, he's got to really make his mark right now. Not be. He's a bit hesitant. I think the last times he's actually thrown kicks, Stefan's wrapped him up. Yep. Stefan doesn't care. Wild punches by Stefan, egging him on. Well, he's 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 up for this now, you know. And then Mitroy answers back to the call. I mean, we've been talking about uh, Robert's uh, ground game, but he did, his, his uh, stand-up's not too bad. Nah, he's, 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 you know, he's, it's enough for what he's doing. Mitroy giving the hello there to the commentary team, where he really needs to focus on his fight here. Good spoil there by Mitrio. It's a wide getting into the, into Robert's guard, but Robert's doing really well tying Mitrio up. R Robert's got some great dexterity around his hips and legs there. He's able to, even when Mitroy is putting his weight down, he managed to still get his legs inside. Yeah. He's yeah. never stationary on his back. He's gone well. for another sweep there has Stefan. Both fighting for, jostling for position here. Uh, he's, uh, his corner, Stefan's corner, tell him to be a bit aggressive with the striking. He's obviously taking the advice wisely. But but he's he can take his back. I wonder what he's yes. looking for. He's looking for hunting for the leg. This is a, this is a, an a, this is a, uh, see, an see opportunity to go for a, yeah. for a Robert's been smart. Hey, he's pushing his hips, Mitra's hips away, uh, you know, so Mitra can't can't sit up and get out of that that ankle. I'll tell lock you there. what, something tells me that if there were other rules and straight leg ankle locks, yeah. uh, Robert Stefan will be taking some legs home. Mitra is a bit frustrated. Doesn't know quite what to do. He needs to actually. The he's not. He I think he's not given the back, which is uh, amazing. Position here. Okay. So this is the, yes. That's Beautifully what turned for. around. He looks like he's going to take the back here of Mitroy. Stefan, great wow, straight to mount. He has to keep. He has to keep Mitroy down. He keeps on letting him move around, but definitely the dominant of the two fighters on the ground. Andre, he's, not, he's, he's, he's not giving the positions up that easily, though. I mean, he's still scrambling from the bottom. Still fighting, absolutely. Yeah, and. Uh, I'd like to see. It. Uh, it'd be great if we saw a submission come out of the r the last few uh, the last few seconds. Doesn't look like it's going to happen though. Yeah, and it looks like Stefan oh. is going to finish in the strongest position here. But that's our fight over, ladies and gentlemen. That's the third and final round, and ag again another uh, potential decision here. Well, uh, another decision about both fighters of. Uh, Done of just justice, being de some of them being debutants. Uh, we saw a good mix of skill there. Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, stand-up. Um, yeah, and in, uh, in my mind, I think uh, the blue corner has taken that. Please put, together, put your hands together, please, for both fighters. <laughs> Winner by split decision. The blue corner, Robert Stefan. <laughs> Robert actually looks quite surprised that he won that. <laughs> but uh, obviously very happy celebrating, jumping around with his coach there. Yeah, it's been a good uh, good night so far for the EFC team, Bison EFCA from London. Uh, well, uh, well, I think they were lucky in the, in the bout before. Uh, oh, sorry, yes. Yeah. So I think they've, I mean, they've, they've I'll tell you what, they've, they've given a great account of themselves I, I thought especially on the grappling front both Mario and Robert have shown you know a great great level of grappling